Well, this year's Olathe Sweet Corn Festival has been canceled, but you can still get your corn. Gary X5 Shelby Racho spoke with the Tuxedo Corn Company in Olathe about how business has been during the pandemic. She joins us live in studio with more. Shelby? Patron, thank you. Well, business is booming. The climate and moisture was perfect this year, and the pandemic hasn't had much of a negative impact on the corn connoisseurs. It's been a good year to farm. John Harold is the founder of the Tuxedo Corn Company. As far as moisture goes, we're in good shape this year. Uh, the crop is early. Uh, the crop is excellent. According to John, his company is shipping somewhere between 15 to 20,000 boxes per day. But for the year, we'll probably do somewhere in the neighborhood of 700,000. So it'll be about, I would guess, 34 to 35 million years. And the local climate plays a big part. One of the biggest reasons our corn does what it does because of the cool nights and the warm days. Well, the pandemic hasn't affected business over at the Tuxedo Corn Company, which is known for its signature item, Olathe Sweet Sweet Corn. You don't sell a lot of sweet corn to restaurants, so restaurants being closed is beneficial to my business because more people are going to the grocery store. Despite the cancellation of this year's Olathe Sweet Corn Festival. I'm on that board and it was the right thing to do. Uh, you can't put that many people in a closed and clo in space. In terms of safety precautions for his 170 workers. Truckload of bottled water so they wouldn't share anything in the water. Taking their temperature morning and night. My cleaning costs have probably gone up, oh, 1,200, 1,300 percent because we're cleaning twice a day. We got a uh, quarantine house in case anybody gets sick and John's big on wearing masks. It may not protect the person wearing the mask, but it will protect others around them. The same way the corn protects the valley. Sweet corn for the last uh, 30 years has been a real boom to agriculture in this valley. It's a cash crop. When we plant, we know there's going to be a profit unless we have a hail or God only knows what will happen. But it, it's been a good stable crop for a lot of years in the valley. So. We're proud. And they should be proud because it's delicious. Now you can purchase your Olathe sweet corn at any King, local King Super and City Market locations. And John tells me he hopes the festival will resume again next year. As always, we'll have more information available on westernslopenow.com. First on the Western Slope and live in studio for KREX 5 News, Shelby Bracho. Cheers, Katrin. <laughs> Cheers, Shelby. Thank you for the sweet, sweet corn. We have ours. You definitely have to go pick up yours before the end of the season.